Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Coward who just assaulted teen Trump supporter doesn't want his identity out, make him famous. Trump derangement syndrome (TDS) is a real thing, and many Americans are afflicted by it. Which is exactly why videos like the one below are surfacing. People cannot handle those who disagree with them or have freedom of thought to vote as they wish. So instead of respecting those differences, they choose to assault people. Which is why what recently happened to a Trump supporting teen should not shock you at all. Chicks on the right reported. The left seems to not be able to control itself when they see a MAGA hat. Once again there's another incident of an adult going after a teenager for wearing the hat, 17-year-old Ashton Hess. Hess was with his family in Seattle, Washington earlier this week. They just had coffee and were coming out of the coffee shop when Ethan Jackson knocked the boy's hat off his head. A woman picked it up and threw it to Jackson who then spat on it and tossed it in the street. In a video posted on Hess's YouTube channel, the woman is heard asking him if he knows what the hat says. Yes, I know what it says. Don't take my hat, Hess responds. That is my property, dude, come on. Take your racist ass and get the f out of this state. The man who spat on the hat says. That's really necessary. I didn't do anything to you, Hess responds. Ashton then asks for his hat back from his mother. He spit all over it, she remarks. That's disgusting, Hess says. Both the woman and Jackson yell at Hess to get out of Seattle. Hess parents told the Daily Wire they were angry about it what happened. I was angry that this guy thought he had the right to attack our son because he disagreed with the text on his hat, Mr. and Mrs. Hess said. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, if you disagree with that opinion, you're not free to be aggressive. Hess parents praised their son for handling the situation with class. The reason that people were able to quickly identify who the attacker was? He confessed it on Twitter and appears to be the same person pictured in the video. Here is the 22-year-old non-binary Jackson who claims he did it. And here are some of his tweets from explaining his actions. Here Jackson mocks Hess. Notice the twisted racism, and it's violent because he believes it to be violent. Not because it has any relation to reality. And here he is mocking the kid. How insane is this? Does this guy have any sense of what a fascist is and how fascistic this is? This wasn't the first time Hess had an unhappy experience with the left because he wore the hat. He went to a March for Our Lives anti-gun protest to try to talk with some of the folks there and reason with them. But he found that was impossible, saying he was treated terribly. I've been exposed to the craziness of the left already, the young man said. This was just the second thing that has occurred that's showed me really how intolerant and unaccepting the left is. There is absolutely no excuse to assault someone who to interfere with their daily lives like this. This teenager was not disrupting anything or bothering anyone. He was just sitting living his own life and minding his own business when this bigot came over and ripped the hat off of him. It is a sad world we live in when people cannot disagree respectfully and left to live their lives in peace. But clearly the actions of this man show that this is no longer the case anymore. While those who are liberal cry about how bad Trump supporters are it is liberals who are going out and tormenting Trump supporters. They did not ask for this. They are not doing anything that indicates they want this type of treatment. Nobody does. Yet liberals time and time again continue to behave the way they do. In reality, as awful as it is the best thing for the Republican Party. Because the more insane far-left Democrats behave the more emboldened the Republican Party's base becomes. Which means the more support that Republicans get. The more support they get the more elections they will win and the longer they will retain the majority in the U.S. House of Representatives, the U.S. Senate, the White House, and the Supreme Court of the United States. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.